Hello, it's Ashley with At Home With Ashley. This week we are doing an Ikea hack. I have a nightstand and we are going to fix it up and redo it. Um, I've been really wanting to get into flipping items, like buying them to resell them. And so I got on Facebook Marketplace, found this for $30, which is a great price because this nightstand is usually sold for $100. So that's a great start. The problem is, is that it's a little bit beat up. So there's like some wood stain showing through. The top has been dropped or something. So we're going to fix those problems and make it even better. Let's go. So the first thing we are doing is we are cutting wood so that I can put it underneath the drawer. The drawer on this piece is a little bit skinny. Thinking that by adding some trim underneath the drawer, it'll help with the proportions and the scale of it a little bit. And this is a great way to add some personality and detail to make it look more expensive. So this $14 trim, we cut it to fit exactly within the legs and they're a little bit tapered so it's a little bit tricky. I'm going to totally replace the top since it has that drop damage. So my husband took that off and he also tightened everything up which is nice so it won't be wobbly anymore. And then we got to gluing the wood pieces on. And so we're just using construction adhesive to attach the pieces on. We're letting it dry overnight so that everything can dry it nice and hard and tomorrow we're going to prep. I just flipped the nightstand right side up and it looks so good. The new trim, it's, it's like super on there good um, and it really elevates it. Today the plan is to prime this. The primer I have needs to dry overnight. It's a really smooth finish so it needs to be primed before it can be painted so the paint will adhere. So yeah, I'm just going to do finish work today, which is not exciting, but prep makes all the difference in the world. First, we're going to clean the surface, wipe down all of the nightstand with a damp cloth to remove any grime or grease. I am using TSP in my water, so that's why I have gloves on. Um, because this was used before, this is a very important step. And then we're going to sand the nightstand. We're just doing a light sand with some fine grip sandpaper. This helps the primer adhere better. If the nightstand is made of laminate, don't sand too hard. You just want to scuff the surface so the primer will stick to it. And then once you're done sanding, wipe off the dust with a cloth. I'm using a microfiber cloth. So now we are going to apply the primer. Apply a thin coat of primer to all the surfaces with a paintbrush. This primer is a bonding primer and it's really important that the paint adheres properly. So this is how we're going to ensure that. Um, let the primer dry completely for a few hours. And next I'm applying some caulk to the nightstand. I'm just doing a thin bead where the trim was adhered or else you're going to see some like gaps and smooth out the caulk line with a wet finger. So it's nice and smooth. Then we're going to apply a second coat of primer and that's what my primer <laughs> calls for is two coats and the second coat we're going to let dry overnight. So it's nice and cured and ready for paint tomorrow. Today we are painting the nightstand and I'm using this minty chalk paint. I just love how chalk paint does with furniture painting. Um, and I wanted to show you something I do, which is I have this spray bottle and I give it a little spritz. And then when you apply the paint, it really goes on very smoothly. With chalk paint and really any paint, it's better to do a lot of light coats to get like a very clean finish. So. I definitely recommend this guy. It's so nice to use. Okay, let's continue on painting this first coat. I'm using a brush because this nightstand really doesn't have any areas where a roller would make it much better, um, but you could if you wanted to. Um, I'm just using long, even strokes to avoid as many brush marks as possible. If I see like a hair or like something sticking in the paint, I pull it out. I want this to look really nice. Also, I tried putting my hardware like on a piece of styrofoam and then I was going to use a screw to like attach it, but my screw didn't fit. So I just like put a paper clip and that did not work. But I think if you had a screw that worked, this would work really nice for getting all the sides of the hardware without getting your fingers painted. I'm letting the first coat dry completely before I start my second coat. The beauty of chalk paint is you could wait like a half an hour, especially in dry Utah where I am for that nice like finish to be done. I'm doing a lighter color and anything that's light like this mint color will need additional coats for full coverage. So I'm probably going to have to do like two or three coats just to get everything covered and looking really good. And it's all painted and it looks really nice but one thing that bothers me is when I painted this you really lost the detail. Like you can't see how beautiful this gorgeous somewhat expensive trim is. So I'm thinking about testing 
if I add rub and buff, if that pulls out the details, if I like the look. If not, I can paint over it, so let's try it. I decided to go ahead with the rub and buff and add it on all three sides. I'm trying to be a little bit more brave with my decorating. I like ornate things and so I just want to bring out the extra details and I'm thinking it's looking really good. Once the rub and buff has dried, I am adding a top coat and I'm just spraying it on and I'm rubbing it in. It's a wax spray and this gives a durable finish to the nightstand. It's supposed to help repel dust and grime and I really like it because it keeps the matte finish of the chalk paint and it looks really nice. Once that's all done, we're going to reassemble the nightstand. I'm going to attach the hardware and put the drawer in place. Something really exciting just got here in the mail. It's the thing I'm waiting for to finish off the nightstand. Let's open it together. I did like partial reopening, but I haven't seen it. Okay, oh, I can already tell it's pretty. Okay, what this is, is it's a marble cutting board but it happens to be the same size as the nightstand. Look at the grain on that, that's so pretty. So I think this will be a really good hack to get a fancy top. This is about $50, so it's expensive, but what an upgrade. Now that this is here, I can show you the finished nightstand. Are you ready? nightstand is done and it looks so cute. I am really happy with the marble top. The marble top is everything. <laughs> I'm very glad I did that upgrade because it, I mean, it was expensive and it looks expensive. My total cost for flipping this was $95. It's like 30 for the nightstand, 50 for the top and 15 for the trim. So with the trim, I did take a little bit of a chance and rub and buff it gold and in person and up close, it looks nice. From far away and just a picture, it kind of looks like, hmm? But I wanted to try something new and I think that'll be really fun. And I did mention that I wanted to flip this and so I need to sell it for like more than a hundred, which I feel like it's fair because if you just buy the nightstand from Ikea, it's a hundred, let alone like the marble top and the trim. So I need to list that and maybe I'll make another video with how that goes since I didn't get it for this one. Anyway, I would love to hear what your favorite upgrade is. Do you like the mint paint? Do you like the trim? Do you like the marble top? Let me know. If you like this video or any Ikea hacks, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos just like it. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you're not already, please subscribe.